Contrarian investing may not be for everyone, but if done prudently, could lead to substantial gains. Remember, this video does not represent investment advice, and you should always consult your personal investment advisor. Picture this. Bitcoin, the poster child of contrarian investing that has been making waves and not without good reason. Imagine having invested in just a single Bitcoin in May of 2017, when it was valued at $2,000. Fast forward to March 2021, and that same Bitcoin would have been worth a staggering $55,000. That's the exact journey I embarked on. And the result? I purchased a sleek Tesla Model 3 in 2021 using just one Bitcoin, effectively buying the car for $2,000. As we cruise down the highway in this glistening white Tesla Model 3, let's take a moment to appreciate the connection between this technological marvel and the world of Bitcoin. You see, Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, is an outspoken supporter of cryptocurrencies, particularly Bitcoin. In fact, in early 2021, Tesla announced that it had bought $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin and would start accepting it as a payment method for its vehicles. It's no wonder that my Bitcoin investment has landed me in the driver's seat of this sleek electric machine. Now, as we enjoy the smooth ride and the whisper quiet electric motor, let's delve deeper into the concept of contrarian investing and how it can potentially turn a seemingly small investment into a game changer. Now you might be wondering, how does one tap into the potential of contrarian investing? Well, there are six best practices to consider. First and foremost, it's essential to thoroughly understand the investment. This means conducting extensive due diligence to ensure you know exactly what you're getting into. The second criterion to consider is whether the technology is reasonably understandable, but not yet fully proven. This space is where the real gems often lie, just waiting to be discovered. Third, it's beneficial if a well-known and successful maverick has already vetted the investment. Their stamp of approval can often signal a promising opportunity. Fourth, you need to ascertain if the investment is liquid. In other words, can it be easily bought or sold without causing a significant price change? Fifth, ask yourself, can you limit your downside risk? It's crucial to have a plan in place to protect your investment should things go south. And lastly, Look for investments that are receiving negative press and adverse speculation that appears unwarranted. This negativity can often signal a contrarian opportunity. When I invested in Bitcoin in 2017, it met all of these criteria. Due diligence was formidable and involved gaining an understanding of such arcane concepts as advanced cryptography, the blockchain, distributed ledgers, decentralized control, and smart contracts. Each of these topics took a minimum of one week to master. To understand liquidity and downside risk, I had to open a crypto wallet and explore the intricacies of crypto exchanges. I could easily limit my downside risk, as one Bitcoin was selling for $2,000. I could afford to lose my entire investment. Finally, I noticed that savvy investors such as Michael Saylor made substantial commitments to cryptos. But what finally turned my mind was when I learned that a large company had raised over $100 million and invested in Bitcoin ATM kiosks. I found a kiosk at a gas station near me and took the plunge and bought one Bitcoin for $2,000. By March 2021, this investment had grown to $55,000, the exact amount needed to purchase a Tesla Model 3. So, as you ponder your own financial goals, consider whether contrarian investing might be a good fit for you. It's not for everyone, but for those who dare to think differently, the rewards can be substantial. The world of investing is filled with opportunities. Sometimes they just require a contrarian perspective to uncover. So you ask, what are the prospects for contrarian investing in 2023? Again, we are not providing investment advice, but you might want to delve into the latest media hype on declining commercial and residential real estate prices. If the pundits have forecast declining prices of office buildings in such places as San Francisco, Portland and Seattle due to safety issues, increased homelessness and the rise of remote work, you may want to assess if and when these issues can be addressed. Then it's just a matter of guessing when the market will turn in your favor 